Alright, welcome back. Um, so, yes, this is yesterday. I was uh, planning on doing this tackle organization. Hold on. Let me mute the TV. Do I have a fingerprint on my lens? I do. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me get this fixed. Okay, that should be better, hopefully. I don't know. And now my phone's going off. Hold on. I never, uh, I forget that. Um, so, we're gonna get to this tackle organization that I've been putting off. Um, and this is the second part of the vlog. Uh, a little thing. If you haven't seen that video, let's see if we can get this to focus, the Mach 1 review, or the Traveling in North Carolina vlog, go check those out. I think the editing is pretty good on them, but let's get to this tackle organization. So basically, what we got going on is those were in a cardboard box from the way home from vacation. That has some loose space in it that I. That has some loose space in it. Also, some from the mystery tackle box. And this has loose hooks everywhere and a few tackle boxes in there and soft plastics that I wouldn't be surprised some have melted. So yeah, uh, should I time lapse this? I think I'm gonna time lapse this. So yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so I've I've, I've, I've misplaced, um, <laughs> I've misplaced my attachment for my tripod, uh, for the phone, um, attachment, which is what I use to film time lapse because this camera won't do time lapse. I don't know why, but it won't. So. Uh, first we gotta find that. Yeah. What you doing? What you doing? I found it. I dropped it. Wouldn't be surprised if I... No, I didn't break it. Okay, good. But, we found the piece. Focus. Focus. Boom. Alright, so now we just put it on the tripod and we get to tackle organization. Yay. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought. I got the t the tower the <laughs> hold on the leaning tower of tackle boxes, and um, I guess I'll basically run through and show you how I organize my tackle. Because I need to fix that. There's a treble hook sticking out of the box. So let's start with terminal tackle. Um, 
we can see. I got white. Uh, I think those are three sixteenths ounce weights, but I think they got mixed in here too. Uh, three eighths ounce. Um, sorry for the lawn mower in the background. Half ounce drop shot hooks, uh, snap swivels, bobber stops, red round bend hooks, regular round bend hooks. Uh, three EWGs. Um, sorry for my brother in the background. <laughs> if you could hear that, we got some red EWGs mixed in there, but they're supposed to be right there. Not gonna bother with those though, cause I I I love red EWGs. I feel like they do better. Uh, flipping hooks in dirty water, at least flipping hooks. Uh, weightless wacky, weighted wacky. Swim bait stuff like jig heads. I think I got one fish head spin. Um, those are football heads, or not football heads, uh, wobble heads, and uh, rugby jig heads. And then finally, Ned Root hooks. Or Ned Rig, not Red Ned. The neg, net, net, Ned Rig. Alright, then we got jigs. Um, so you got like the greenish colors and the darker colors like this is like Okeechobee crawl in here I know lighting's not top notch but still and then black and blue I just kind of throw them in there based on weight um crankbaits don't have a whole lot uh black and or chartreuse black bag kind of like sexy shad color stuff Craw colored stuff, um, more natural kind of gizzard shad. Got one white and a bluegill, like a medium slash deep diver, and smaller crankbaits. Um, now on to the weakest tackle box. The next two are the weakest ones of them all, but this one's super weak. Um, uh, buzz one buzz bait and. The Booyah Boo Rig got it in the mystery tackle box. Um, a jointed swim bait looks like. Uh, a couple of rattle traps. There's one underneath those. Um, you got top water. You got a popper, spook, jerk bait, jerk bait. I guess jerk bait's up mixed in. Whopper plopper and another spook slash popper and then random swim baits. We got uh, spinner baits. There's supposed to be some in there, but they're out of the box. We got frogs. I love frog fishing. I think I have three in there and four in there. Uh, two chatter baits, some bluegill stuff, and small chatter bait and small crank bait. Oh, it just flipped on me. Whoops. Um, then this is my flipping baits and crawl trailers and Texas Ray Crawls. Um, this is what I mainly buy when I go to the store. Got a lot of Berkeley Chigger Crawls. Smells like garbage. Um, got Rage Tails. Those are my favorite. Uh, got some flipping baits. Those will actually look really good. Can't wait to try those. Uh, more flipping stuff. And like brush hogs type stuff and lizards. And then this one is my worm and swim bait box. Um, we got these bull pack of Sankos, or well, stickos. Then we got other Sankos and flukes. Got some Gary Yamamoto Pro Sankos, which I like on shaky heads. Um, Strike King Sankos. Finesse worms, yum, sankos, bunches, not a bunch of swim baits, but a decent amount. Um, Ned rig bait, uh, those are trick worms back in there. Uh, kind of a trick worm type deal. Curly tail, um, oh, I guess those are trick worms, and these are, oh, those are lizards, now I don't remember. Or no, those are curly tail, the lizards are in the other box. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much this tack box will like never shut. And that's pretty much it for tackle. And then there's the bag I carry stuff in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it for the tackle organization. Um, so I guess that's where this video will end. Unless anything eventful comes up, I might go fishing tonight. I don't know though if I'll bring the camera because I doubt I'm going to catch anything. I might. I don't know. Just not, I just don't know if I'm feeling it tonight. Alright, so see you guys in the next one. Peace.